Um, my name is Bronwyn Everton, and I am Director of the Social Work and Discharge Planning Department at um, St. Elizabeth Regional Health. I've been there for 20, almost 28 years, and um, uh, our job is to help people when they come into the hospital with uh, services and plans for when they go home. We don't see everybody in the hospital, but for those that, that uh, we get notified of that, that do need assistance. So we certainly, our department and our social workers have tried to collect a lot of information about resources in the community for helping um, with the, the aging population. Um, having been there for 28 years, I have seen a lot of changes in, in the services and the resources that are available. I started there before DRGs, which is a Medicare term on how, how things were, are paid. Um, so I started there before that, and uh, so things took on a real quick change and have been continually changing you know, ever since. But uh, we'll, some of the services that we'll talk about um, have um, developed uh, significantly and have really made things really more services for the elderly uh, in, in the many years that I've been there. Um, I know that um, some people have their relatives that live out of state or out of town and so will be some of the specific agencies and things that we talk about um, are in Lafayette but you will find hopefully on this, this yellow gold uh, sheet that you have there'll be the types of services that you can even find at uh, you know, whatever uh, community your family is in. Um, I personally had to deal with my own parents in Texas, not related to Elaine, but, uh, uh, but in Denton, Texas. And so um, I started with looking under Area Agency on Aging uh, to get information on resources. And then if you just would call uh, the local hospital and ask to talk to either, it'll either be under case management, under social work, or under discharge planning, they should know what some of the resources are, the specific ones in the categories of what we, we will talk about today. So please ask questions as we go along. Um, so I um, will have questions also at the end, but if you've got questions then I'd rather you ask them now. Um, we'll start with this kind of old yellow sheet and what I've, I've developed, divide this into a continuum of care and try to focus on how, as someone ages in their home, the things that you can start to put into place to start to make things either safer, uh, to assist the person, to think about, and, and to, to put into place. This is not a be-all and end-all list, and some of you, as you've worked with, with um, older persons, will think of some others that we can, can add on to this. But I've tried to make them in a, um, a continuum so that when we get down to the bottom of the next page, we're kind of at the, the most part of assistance in the home. Um, I started out with just mentioning safety in the home, and that's what's on the white sheet. You know, this is just one little sheet that talks about things that you can do to make the home safer. Um, that, that's one of the things that you want to, want to think about. Um, a person may have had surgery for a hip replacement or something and had to come home and you, they start adding grab bars on the, on the shower and, and various things like that. So um, a lot of things can, can be done to make the home safer for the individual. Um, this is just one sheet. Um, there's a four page little uh, booklet that I have. Uh, you could probably go on the internet and find a lot of other more elaborate things, but this is just an example of some of the things that you can do um, for the person in their home to, to make things safer. But that's, a, that's really where you need to start is think about the safety in the home. Um, the next thing I talk about is advanced directives. This is just, these are documents. Um, Jay, who is an elder, Jay Seeker is an elder care attorney. He could answer a lot of questions about that. Um, but advanced directives are a general type of um, document that a person will fill out at the time that they are competent and alert and, and oriented that would talk about what they would, their wishes would be at some future date when they are unable to make decisions for themselves. Um, it happens to all of us whether we're 20 years old or 80 years old. There, there may come a time either by a sudden accident or, or a progressive illness where a person cannot make decisions for themselves. And it's important to um, have in writing what some of your wishes are and who would be the person you would want to turn to to make those decisions. At the hospital and at the attorney's office, there are documents uh, for what is available uh, 
what, what the particular documents are in the state of Indiana. Uh, the first one I mentioned